Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I've got a customer that uh, wanted to know how he could make the engraving sequence such that it would start engraving right here, go across the page, go down, and go backwards. Now, sometimes that sounds like a great idea. Uh, you will have to be the judge of how much time it actually saves you. But here's a, a small plate size. It's a two by three with some text to engrave, a couple of uh, circles and a box. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to use my array tool and I know that the distance down is going to be minus two inches and I know that the distance across is three inches because I made it a two by three. So I want to go all the way across. Now actually before I do that let me just go back to one. I want to group this. So that's control G to group it. If you do not group it, it'll, it'll engrave one at a time. So it's currently grouped. Go to my array. It remembered my values here. So two, three, four, five. And this is a 20 inch plate, so it won't be able to do any more than that. And then my Y. And this is what I wanted to engrave. So if I wanted to, I could have also done the box, but so now what I want to do is I want to select this. Currently the way that this will engrave, it'll engrave across here. Actually we can look at it. Uh, you can go under layout, go down to sequence, sequence by list. Now I have a hotkey that I assigned for it. So I only want, so here's this rectangle and then I'm going to hold the shift key and arrow down so you can see the sequence at which it's going to engrave. And of course that goes across and then comes back and so forth. Now that's great except for that's not the way this engraving wants to be. So I'm going to go under arrange and go to sequence and sequence by vector. There's start sequence which I use a lot. I'll show you that one first actually. Start sequence. What I do is go over this and click the moment I see the crosshair, see there's no crosshair. Now when I see a crosshair, and I can do it that way. And once you screw up, you got to kind of start all over. That's that's one way to do it. And that's really nice if you're picking out text. So let's see, I'm going to get back this one. Now this one will work good. This is a sequence by vector. So I'm going to run this line across here. I'm going to go down just to this one, run it all the way across, run it down to this one, go across, continue that same set of steps all the way to the end. Okay, and then just click away. And then if you have, you can just refresh. And then Control Alt L to see my list, and now you'll see. This is the first item in the list, and I've got the rectangle in there, but you can see, a little hard to see until we get down below, but you can see this is how it will engrave now. So the secret here was to group them to get this to work well. And also you, there is another one in here, sequence by um, start sequence, sequence by vector, and then sequence by list. You can see I have start sequence, I have control alt s, control alt v, and control alt l because I use these very, very often. And just so you know how to do that, you can go customize shortcuts under layouts, click the plus on sequence, start sequence by victory. You can see that I put in control alt v. What you do is you click here, you put in control alt v, which I typed on the keyboard. Then you click on Assign, and then you have to click on Apply. So you can do all three, but make sure you assign each one, and then when you're all done, you have to click on Apply. I'm just going to click on Close. Hope this helps.